Hello everyone, I am Dan Stapleton. I'm Kyle O'Connor. And uh, this, you may recognize from such games as Grand Theft Auto V, uh, is City Skylines running a mod uh, created by, who created this mod? The the map right now was made by G. Rockefeller. Or G. Rock, as I like to call him. G. Rock from the block. Or perhaps Grockefeller, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but that's that's kind of beside the point. What, what is important is his work here, which is spectacular. Yeah. Uh, this is the entire uh, kind of playable area in GTA V. We're, we're talking about all of Los Santos and all of Blaine County. Uh, and there is Mount Chiliad there. That's amazing. Is, yeah, they, they've done really an impeccable job. And considering that City Skylines has only been out for, what, a couple weeks? Yeah. Uh, it's really impressive what's been done here already. I just It just makes me wonder how he did it. Like, there's it, the detail is so – he's just paid so much attention to the details, like the layout of the roads, the buildings, everything like that. It's it's really amazing. Yeah, and, like, these are these are City Skylines buildings. Like, for example, the, the uh, fictional office of developer Colossal Order, who made City Skylines, uh, is not actually in Los, An- Los Santos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, if we're gonna if we're going to uh, get all get all uh, specific about that, nitpick them. But they did a good job of placing big buildings where there should be bi- big buildings. They you know kind of glued together a, an airport. Even though like this is the actual airport building that's available in City Skylines, but you know the airport in Los Santos is considerably larger, so they kind of built their own. Um, yeah, th- this they've actually put together three different airports here, uh, plus there's just kind of randomly <laughs> a random assortment of buildings here to, to make it look like a terminal. They did a really remarkable job with all the all the road layout. Yeah, that's what I was I was noticing specifically, like the road layout. That's one thing I I find a little uh, difficult when I play city sil- and city skylines is just laying roads, and this guy is. Kind of like a master, yeah. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> like that intersection right there, if you go over to your right, it's just so well done. Yeah, it, t- it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's actually not that hard to, to make these once you once you get the hang of it. Uh, I haven't got the hang of it. <laughs> <laughs> I will, yeah. I'm no, not as good as you are, but this, what uh, G. Well, Rockefeller. I do this either. But <laughs> oh, yeah, this is just amazing. It's almost artwork. We should we should go uh, scavenger hunting for important stuff. You, sh- you showed us Mount Chiliad in the... Um, the airport. We should see any chance we can find uh, any of the player houses or the approximate area where they should be. Yeah, I mean th- these are all you know not not specifically you know crafted buildings. Yeah. But for example, let's let's turn on the the HUD here. Uh, you can see that it's not really a viable city. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a little bit in debt. Just you know a mere thirty four million uh, with a, a population of thirty two thousand. So yeah, each 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 citizen here uh, owes a pretty penny in back taxes. <laughs> yeah. But what they what this guy has done, what G Rock, my main man, has done, is created uh, you know individual zones for or districts for each one of uh, Los Santos districts. Wow! So it's really easy to find your way around here. So we know that uh, Michael lives in. Let's see, where is he? Was he in Rockford Hills or or um, or was he in? Rock- I think he was in Rockford Hills, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So that's over here. And, yeah, there's no actual Michael House. Yeah, yeah. Well, because it's just using the cities and skylines models. But it's still, it's, I I didn't even know he went all the way down to doing the districts themselves, too. Yeah, it's really impressive. And then over over here, I think uh, East Los Santos, or South Los Santos is where Franklin is from. Yeah. Um, you yeah, know, it's one of these houses somewhere. Got a subway uh, system as well here. Oh, wow. And then we zoom all the way out and we go over to Sandy Shores. And this is uh, this is Trevor's airfield, I believe. Uh, his, his house, or his trailer house, doesn't actually show up on this map because too small, I guess. The scale yeah. is a bit much, but yeah, there's the train tracks and everything. This is quite detailed. I it's just it this game is, hasn't been out very long, and he's gone through all this effort. It's just astounding to me. So one one thing that that helps us to explore this uh, this marvelous mod in a little bit more detail is a second mod. You know, oh, yeah. About mod number two. The first person camera by Enlight. All right. And we just hit tab and Shazam. So I'm actually standing on top of the uh, the Colossal Order building here, but I'm going to jump off here. It's you're, you, There's you know, no clipping, so you you can fly around, basically. But normally, on the on the normal mode, let's see, you can, you can only zoom in that far. 
which is still pretty close. Usually, actually, there's a there's a that hot dog truck just ran into the building. <laughs> <laughs> usually, there's actually a, a kind of a blur filter on this. It's it's in there a little bit here, but it's usually more pronounced, especially when you're looking at people. But now they've kind of switched that off, so we can go. <laughs> let's freeze time here. We can go here and get really up close and personal with some of these character models and see what they're doing. Does that guy have a Bluetooth on? Um, wow. Yeah, he does. Talk about attention to detail for a game that wasn't meant to have a first-person mode. Yeah, and, and like, let's see if we can find a bus stop because those get like big crowds of people. But let's turn time back on. Yeah, you can just roam through the streets. There are there are a bunch of options for this, actually. We can... Let's see, I think I've got to go back out to the other mode to do it. But let's see. Let's turn down the movement speed. You can mess with the field of view and everything, but it, it gets a little bit excessive. But let's turn down that and turn on snap to ground so that we can uh, move a little bit more naturally. There we go. Still running real fast, but you really get a sense of scale that you don't get from, from higher up. Yeah, like those bridges and stuff are just huge. Uh-oh, what happened there? Thanks. A well, little bit of a hitching there, but, you know, it's a mod, so what do you expect? Uh, I'm sure that will even out a little bit. But, yeah, like like just these these uh, tiny, or what they lo look like tiny uh, power ta towers, power uh, power line towers on, uh, you know, when you're zoomed out, it's like, hey, that's actually really big. I didn't even, like, the first time I ever looked at the stadium, I didn't even recognize it from yeah. from the main mode. Like, it's like, that was that a custom building? It's like, nope, that's the, that's the regular stadium. We got, you can watch the animations of little girls doing hopscotch, the dogs. I love how you can rename dogs in this. Wow. That's, it's just, it's such a, like, such a large amount of detail put into a game that wasn't meant to be seen from first person. And it looks surprisingly good from yeah. this angle. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because it's meant to be played at such a high elevation compared to this. And it's, it's really cool that, you know, when you make your own city, you can kind of go for a walk in it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to download this mod when I get home because I want to go walk around my cities and see how poorly I've done. <laughs> Let's watch it on super speed. I wonder if there's anything on fire. It is kind of neat to watch the firefighters work from this angle. Yeah, that would be... Let's, I guess we'll I, zoom out and see if there's anything on fire. There's, there's definitely going to be a fire somewhere. <laughs> there's definitely some, some uh, emergency vehicle activity going on here, but it seems like it's all ambulances. Let's see. Well... Something's going to burn down eventually. But in the meantime, let's turn on some of the data views here and check out the traffic flow. Like, it's actually pretty wow. pretty clean, except for over here. But, uh, I mean, that's that's not bad. But, uh, to be fair, like, the population of the city is not super high. Fire. Oh, oh, there it is. I, I like how you can, you can uh, oh, no. No. Yeah, you, it warps you back to where you were last. That's all right. So it looks like I just got to go do east. I think that's the, yep. Looks like I'll just pause it until I get there. I like how you can you can have the data overlays on and while you're on the ground. Yep, it's amazing. It gives it kind of a different look. And it's a, a a neat effect to begin with. So it's nice to uh, see it from a different angle. All yeah, these I'm textureless <laughs> things. I'm a big data freak, so it's l all the information City Skylines gives you while you play it is just really helpful. Am I even going the right way anymore? I forget. Let's I see. don't know. No. I'm just enjoying the show. <laughs> nope, I went, like, the wrong way. I got right, carried away with following the roads. In any case, let's just, yeah. That's all right. We'll find it eventually. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, the, the fact that these roads are all uh, based on, like, actual city roads for GTA uh, gives it a pretty good leg up when it comes to traffic flow. Yeah. You that's could, just like that's one of the like I mentioned before is like something I have the hardest time with is just effective road planning and just to see that it is really effective even when it's being made in the uh, city skylines is pretty interesting. It it does take a lot of getting used to to get to get you know like this is the one of the biggest puzzles of city yeah. skylines and of any city management game is a, is effective traffic flow and solving it feels really good. Let's go to pollution. Eh, yeah, not too bad. Kind of surprising that uh, there's not more pollution for a city like yeah. Los Santos, but actually, where where does this even come from? I don't know. It's, there's it looks like there there may have been a uh, sewer outlet over here at one point that's Somewhere. just flowing away. Yeah, uh, I can't see where that's originating from. But uh, yeah, not not too bad. Blaine County actually uh, fairly clean, looking pretty good. 
It's a reasonably noisy city, but not too bad. Fire coverage. Oh, like crime. You would think there'd be a lot of crime in Los Santos. It's actually only 4%. I think they, they uh, placed police stations exactly where they are in in the real uh, the real deal. And that's low crime rate. That's very <laughs> very weird. Well, you know, again, it's a relatively small uh population size uh, although yeah. one of the things i don't know if this has been your experience with city skylines but in my experience crime is not really a big deal no i i haven't yet to see it be rampant ever yeah it's like if you just have one police station in a city this size it would probably be fine i i have most most trouble with um you know garbage management and um yeah garbage and health really well That's let's take a, look at, take a look at garbage it looks like they are doing just fine. I mean, you know, landfills are almost full, but lots of incineration space. I have, I have trouble getting uh, trucks to actually pick up the garbage sometimes. Yeah, that's what I do. And then that's always, like, my biggest source of uh, budgetary woes is from the garbage companies. And health, yep, plenty of uh, plenty of uh, health coverage. Although that, that makes sense that they would be kind of overcompensating in this, in this particular map because uh, there are a lot of hospitals around Los Santos because there have to be because that's where you respawn when you oh, die. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. And what else we got? Public transit. It's kind of neat. I, I I love all the the colorful display, like different color coded. Yeah. Uh, things for each different type of transportation. What about um, happiness? What's the happiest portion of the town? Well, there are a couple of people over here that are on downtown. Though. What's, what's wrong with you? Low, Low land, land value. value. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah. That's impressive. There's just so much work that's gone into this. It's just a whole level of patience I don't have. <laughs> People are really happy despite uh, some low land value. Yeah, I mean, ha that's that's actually another another weakness I called out in my review of Skylines is that uh, it's kind of hard to make people unhappy unless you're really trying. Yeah. Uh, these people will put up with a lot, as it turns out. And, you know, they've, they've got normal tax rate here i, I don't think the uh, the moderator decided to uh to, again he, he wasn't really interested in making a city that that worked or made a lot of sense he just wanted to recreate which is great but with that, uh yeah. with that sweet 51k uh negative 51k inflow of money yep oh man but yeah so this is a, a good a good combination of mods i find is <laughs> a, a good way to appreciate the work of some of the really more extravagant city builders and and you know people have recreated existing cities or cities that exist in some way shape or form real or imaginary uh, and you can find both of these on the steam workshop page uh, which is just overflowing with amazing mods at this point we'll have to check a few more more of them out later i like how that the trucks tilt as they go around corners yeah yeah like i mentioned like a whole level of detail that i was not expecting at this you know Level literally like first person. Yep. It's just amazing. The fact oh. that that one guy. Oh, there was some clipping. You fall through a bridge, because yeah, it, it's not. It, it wasn't really designed for yeah. people to do this, so it doesn't really doesn't really expect you to uh, be walking over overpasses. Anyway, for more on city skylines, by all means, stick with IGN. We'll have more for you.